Hey, oh, mate. How are you doing? You're running seventh, Gareth. Well done. Just setting off on my um, extended cool down. Um, just done a quite a big uh, 17 mile session with Gary and Birdie um, to make a, a decent Sunday run. Um, so, this week's training anyway, um, gone pretty standard. So, Monday started off, uh, did 15 mile, um, 10 mile in the morning with Kai and Ruby, uh, went round Manvers and then five mile in the evening um tuesday rolled into it um woke up went out for an eight mile jog uh, obviously with the session that naomi will uh, be talking about later in the video <laughs> the boys are just well the boys and ruby are just finishing their cool down so we've done like three different sessions tonight um the boys have done six times one k off 90 seconds they've then done um four four hundreds and four two hundreds i believe i might be corrected in that um i've done five one k's with over two minute recovery um and then ruby's done five six hundreds um just to keep the legs ticking over a bit Ruby. so enjoyed the session it was six one k with 90 seconds rest and then a four by four with 60 seconds rest and two by 200 uh, with 30 second rest which quite enjoyable uh, it was very very windy at Dorothy Iron track though um, and then run into Tuesday more of the same 15 mile day uh, very easy again for an easy uh, Wednesday sorry for an easy day um but enjoyed it nonetheless thursday decided to try and start implementing like my second session um of the week so i um so i uh ran easy in the morning and then in the evening went up to the new roundabout that everyone hates at poggy or did hate but they probably now love um and just did a 30 seconds off, 45 seconds up, no, 30 seconds on, 45 seconds off. Um, and that obviously allowed me for a bit longer rest, but uh, I could get up to a little bit of speed. Again, it was windy, and I do believe the roundabout messes where you watch as GPS, especially for the little 30s, but um, it was just nice to get the legs ticking over and, and feeling something like. And then Friday, easy day. Uh, did have to start work a little bit earlier Friday um, and woke up a bit later, which were a bit of a fault on my behalf. So I ended up running twice Friday, which I don't like usually doing. Um, but couldn't be avoided and I got 10 mile in for the day. Um, Saturday park run so I decided to go back to Barnsley probably really need to start getting there a bit more just to get a bit more strength on the hills um, used it as a bit of a tempo run with a run there and a slightly longer run back um, clocked just over 12 mile uh, for Saturday morning uh, we're 17.30ish park run thrown in for good measure um, some way off my best but I use it as a bit of a tempo workout rather than running for a PB and putting everything on the line 
um, and then on to Sunday. So, uh, message Gary and Birdie last night and said to him, uh, what are you doing tomorrow lads? And basically told me their session. So it were a 20 minute jog, warm up, and then a 15 minutes at 6 10 pace, 15 minutes at 6 pace, and then 15 minutes at 5.50s, and 15 minutes at 5.40s. Um, went through the gears quite nicely. Tunnel messed up with my GPS uh, on the last uh, little rep, but yeah, quite enjoyed it actually. Um, and just got got round and uh, got through the gears on the TPT, which is obviously pancake flat up at Peniston. So as well as talking about like um, training, I thought I'd theme uh, each of the videos just to give a little bit more depth as well. So in this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about periodization and what that means to me. Um, so periodization, like when it comes to running and anything really in life, is blocking out different periods with different focuses um, and throughout the marathon block like I'll periodize my training so that I'm focused on specific things at each like particular time um, so to begin with like up until like probably 12 weeks out I'm just making sure that my body's in a particularly strong shape so that I can uh, I undertake um, some marathon training so can I actually complete the sessions to an half decent level before I've actually started the focus stuff and like I could focus marathon training 16 20 weeks out but really it might mean that I'll peak way too soon so in the beginning phase all I'm doing up until like 12, 10 week out, he's getting a base down, looking after my body, making sure it's fine, still completing sessions, but they're nothing like marathon sessions. So that's why I've focused a little bit on like 10K training and 10K specific stuff, so that really I can step and use these stepping stones, these building blocks to get through the gears and like build up the distances. So, off the back of 10k training, my like target 10k final race will be used with 10k at the beginning of February, um, and using that as a like a bit of a focus um, towards um, like a, a substantial, hopefully 10k time. But during that period, like. I'll be looking to start building towards like an half marathon and an half marathon distance. So I am racing Brass Monkey next weekend. Doesn't fall particularly right. Should I turn around? Uh, particularly right or particularly well. But it's you, I'll be using it as a baseline um, towards the rest of my training and where I'm at. So then when I come to race a half marathon, again further down the line and use it as a bit more of a target race, I'll know if I've improved. And you don't get much flatter than Brass Monkey, but I'll know roughly like in terms of effort, how easy it felt or anything like that, whether I've improved uh, throughout the period of training. You need to be careful, well I need to be careful not to peak too soon uh, in marathon training and leave it all out there a month before you've actually made the start line which a lot of runners including myself have uh, probably done before in the past as well the light is a cycle through marathon training i'll go from building a base to then making like specific marathon sessions 
and focused like training so it might be going from doing shorter reps on the track where i am just going through the gears to doing like longer um sustained efforts at like marathon pace not 10k pace and doing like build-up sessions so maybe your progression runs your tempo runs your 5k blocks five mile efforts but knocking all them together as well um and then roughly four weeks out that's when i'll be looking to complete hopefully my final like long run and long session um and then call it i call that peak week and i think probably quite a few other people do as well um it's like peak week will be highest mileage week and then doing longest run longest session and it does always fall quite right for yorkshire people so at east all 20 around then and if you're smart instead of like racing it um you might do a session within the race uh, at east all 20 as well and that's roughly about four weeks out from london uh, which works quite well um and then beyond peak week i'll be doing some sort of maintenance stuff but that's more focused around recovery and it'll not be hitting a taper yet but it's hitting some easier stuff but sharpening up again so getting your legs back to something what feels a little bit quicker so that you're used to running quicker than marathon pace and that's just how i like to train whether it works for other people or not i don't know but it's how i particularly like to take it and then roughly two week but i do prefer 10 days nowadays um out from the marathon i'll be looking to start tapering backing off taking it easy still completing the double days still completing sessions but there'll be nothing like um anything else that i've done throughout the marathon block just so i'm not killing myself basically but then it's all about making the start line in one shape in a decent shape and then get into race day and that'll be like the final bit of the block towards periodization and then the block that people forget about beyond race day what do you do <laughs> so it's recovery looking after yourself and obviously i do run every day but it's being mindful that you've just run 26.2 mile it's a long way and you've just put everything on the line and all your weeks have built up to this this one like final dance so it's taking it all in appreciating what your body's done and not beating it up the day after a week after a marathon cookie of old is being a bit of a killer for that and uh killing himself straight away after a marathon but then breaking down two months later but it's about learning what your body can handle and knowing that really you're not a machine but you know your body can handle it and you've been there before so taking the recovery in enjoying a couple of down weeks here and there isn't going to kill you it's not going to lose your fitness but your body's going to have that valuable time to recover and uh get ready for what you're going to throw at it next and it's probably going to be a marathon it's so much stupid because that's what we all do and it's knowing that and appreciating that's about to come up um but yeah that's what periodization means to me anyway and it's knowing that you've got different phases to go through um and your different stepping stone your building block to get to that end goal and you can't just go from a to b anymore you got to go all the way through the gears and go a to z and beyond and learning and acknowledging that you've got to do that and you can't just jump from zero to 26.2 mile without doing the strong base first otherwise you are just going to break and that's not good for anyone um but yeah another strong weight done um like in the base 
I've done about 104 mile I think just short of this week or it might just be just more um, but that's that um, enjoyed it, enjoyed every step enjoyed going out with people yeah um, and getting getting some more winter miles in the bag um, that all build towards a bigger picture so yeah enjoying me next week where hopefully I'll have raced Brass Monkey and I'll have done an eighth decent time um, to give me a benchmark to build up to prove the rest of my marathon block I hope you enjoy my rambles and I'll see you soon